go and I'm like, dude, you would have to spin around a total of two times and then land on the center of the dot and then snipe someone. Like, if, can you imagine someone doing like a double spin and then shooting with a sniper rifle? That's the ridiculous sh uh oh. Uh oh. Hold on to your eaves, kid. You can have regrets if you want to. I ain't it's dropping no eaves, Mr. Baggins. You can't Mr. Gando, whatever. For things that happened in the past. That road leads to madness. Believe me. Mm -hmm. He's right. Don't kick yourself. It doesn't suit a legend like you. Aww. I'm sure Meryl's just fine. Mei Ling, Snake, forget about Meryl. Stop Liquid. That's what Meryl would want, too. You're right. Meryl would say the same thing. Snake. What? Meryl. She's pretty special to you, huh? Oh. Yes, she's special. There aren't many women like her around. That's not what I meant. She's the Colonel's niece and a combat buddy. Is that all? Come on. This is like a police interrogation. <laughs> no, I she's, just... she's she's doing that thing. She's in the jeans. Is it is there something jeans. you like about her? What are you talking about? <laughs> I saw the way you were looking at her. <laughs> I saw the way you were scoping out her ass. You're just looking. At, you were just looking at how she walks, huh? Was there something wrong with how I walk? <laughs> I was. Nice, nice of you to join us, Master. Naomi, I thought you didn't have family. Well, I, I researched it after I became an adult. My grandfather was already dead by the time I learned about him. I never even had the chance to meet him. Oh. Snake. Good luck. Watch your back, uh -huh. Snake. Uh-huh. You'll be getting caught up in lies. What's up, Master? Master! Plan your strategy based on the enemy's positions. Try to think like Master, what's your favorite Metallica album? If you can put yourself uh, in the map I like Injustice mm -hmm. for All. I really like Injustice for All, even though there's no bass. <laughs> <laughs> Those are some of Metallica's most technical riffs ever. <laughs> It'd be nice if it had bass. Yeah. I heard, I read an article on Facebook today that, you saw that? Yeah. So it was Lars. Lars was the one. Uh, yeah. yeah, actually, that was the first thing I saw this morning. Steve had linked it on my page. And I was like... <laughs> just, 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 just bleh. You know? Mm. It's funny that... I'm Team Newstead all the way. Mm. Yeah. Fuck Metallica. I did like some kind of monster, that, the movie. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a... <coughs> it's a master's class in what not to do. Yeah. Uh... Out of count, let's see. If you go straight down the underground, passage... underground Railroad. I'm sorry for making fun of history. <laughs> I know that was a big thing. I learned about it in history class. First, looks like someone left their ketchup. <laughs> oh, you can use that ketchup trick. I rock that. Ugh. Ketchup and noodles, homie. Yo, ketchup and rations, yo. Last time you went down this hallway, things did not go your way. Oh hey! <laughs> oh hey! Oh hey! That was all for a ration that you didn't even need. Can't use an Akita missile? Why? Because something. Uh, cause maybe because your frequency is being jammed? I don't know. Oh. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, sorry. Um, the article about Metallica is um, when their fourth album, Injustice for All, came out. If you listen to it, it's really, really hard to hear a bass. And I think what happened... I didn't really read the whole article. <laughs> I think Lars Ulrich was like... We don't want bass on this album because their original bass player had just died. Yeah, well, okay. Yeah, you want to tell the story? Yeah, I read the article. All right, all right so uh, yeah, it's 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 the the album is notorious for its lack of bass presence. And it's a good album. It is. It is. I I, just, I like that album a lot actually. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah. So that's just one of those things. And uh, the producer has been apparently been getting shit about it, you know, for the last thirty years, and so he decided just kind of like dime out Lars and just be like you know what man this is what fucking happened so appar apparently Lars came in with uh, a a complete map for how he wanted his drums to sound and uh, 
even though nobody else liked it, he like made them stick to the mix, and then he kept uh, telling the producer to bring down the bass in the mix till it was. Yeah, can you bring down the bass? Yeah, I just so, hear his voice in my head. Uh, right, so you almost couldn't hear it. And the funny thing was, in the article, the, the producer said that uh, when he caught up with Metallica at their uh, Hall of Fame induction or whatever, the guy, the guy was like, uh, "Are you fucking kidding me?" That that Lars was like. Yo, what the hell happened to the bass on that, man? And he gave him shit about it. <laughs> Whoa, Mars yeah. is a douche. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. Again, it doesn't It doesn't seem like the kind of, like the way the article had it read, it didn't seem like it would just be something this producer would just make up. It was clearly, he just got oh, are you like, fucking kidding? fed up about hearing about it, but it's pretty funny and it doesn't surprise me in the least. Was I, I don't know if I was supposed to burst in there. It was set up like I was, but... See if I can get the fuck out of here immediately. Nope. Okay, so that was kind of supposed to happen, I guess. Oh, yeah, you're in the... This is, like, kind of the run and gun portion now. Oh. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, the first half of the game is really stealthy, and then all, all of a sudden, you're, like, running and shooting. I should use the FAMA. Why am I using my weak gun? The FAMAS. Oh, what a waste of rations. Yeah, that door just opened without me having to. Oh, I am getting fucked up. I'm sorry, everyone. This is a master playthrough. <laughs> <clears throat> I am the best at Metal Gear. Oh, come on. I am the best at Metal Gear. Solid. All those who stand in my way will be crushed <laughs> with my incredible Fama skills. <laughs> also, I have boxes. Also, look at it. Look at this. <laughs> Yeah, Sean. Take him to school, Johnny. Now, see, this is this is what it's really like. If I got shot once, I would be dead. So, oh, okay, cool. Well, see, last time you didn't know. Now, now you're more prepared. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That was uh, I'm in, I'm embarrassed. So to recap, Lars is a douche, and he took the bass out of the album. And you know what's funny? I think that's his like, in terms of drum playing, I think that's his like peak. I think that he was at his best as a drummer on that album. I don't know about the sound because I haven't listened to it in a while, but I really liked how his like you know, that, that album has that song uh, one. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's should have just done the cameras. This guy's right. Here we go. We'll do one, we'll do one of these. One of those. Uh, one of these. Do one of. Uh, Um, yeah. Wow, I lost my train of thought hard. Metallica, Lars, one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was going to say, I, you know, as much as he's fun to abuse and all that, and, you know, there's obviously, you, you can nitpick his playing plenty. He, he does that thing, man, that not every drummer can do, and that's, he comes up with drum signatures, like, parts that you know are him, parts that are iconic, and, like, you know, the parts that stick out in the song. And that is a talent, you know. That's that that's a talent. Not, not everybody has that. There there are lots of drummers with way more technique than Lars that can't come up with something memorable, you know. So we'll give him that. <clears throat> Sometimes I'll be running up the stairs and I'll just accidentally lean on the wall. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, do it, Sean. Can I go in here? This where I go? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Fuck it, go in. No oh, ration. Oh, it's Otacon. Snake, <clears throat> that's the door to the walkway. It won't open, even if I use the card. Huh? Oh, that's right. I totally forgot. Do you know something? Hey, um, that the Devoutly. So Using grenades. Okay, I will use grenades and run up. Devoutly, what's your favorite Metal Gear Solid game? <clears throat> we were talking about this with someone else in the chat earlier. They really like the third one. Uh, Dan is a fan of the first one. I don't know what my favorite is. I think this. I wouldn't say the second one, but I. I would say I like the second one way more than a lot of people do. Also, <clears throat> I really like this one. Damn it! I should have fucking paid attention to what Alicon said. Keep going. All right. So he said I should simultaneously throw grenades while running up the stairs. So I will honor your wishes. 
faithful viewer. <laughs> All right, fuck off, <laughs> God. Yeah, Sean. Ah, oh ah, my God. Ah, ah, ah. Everything's fine. Nothing is broken. You're just gonna keep running, not shooting for some reason. Oh, that helps. Everything is fine. Nothing is broken. Hustle, baby. Hustle. I I I forgot until today that you could run and shoot the pistol. <laughs> That's how that's how MLG <laughs> pro I am. Oh god damn. Just move it, bro. Keep running. You're running. Oh boy. It's, it's, it's uh, I'm just taking it personally that they're fucking shooting me so much. <laughs> Dude, do you see that? I punched him and he punched me. And I fell down, he stood up. That's embarrassing. I'm just like imagining if this was an action movie right now. The bumbling fucking retard you are running up these stairs. Like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> John McClane, you are not. Yeah, that dude fucking walked on glass. I I will not do that for people. <laughs> oh my god. I love that scene where he gets in the fight with the dude and they fall down the stairs. That's like that's one of my favorite fight scenes ever. See, the way you feel about Metal Gear Solid is kind of where I'm at with uh, Die Hard. I love Die Hard too, and everybody shits on it. I'm like, that was great. Yeah, well, three is really fucking awesome. Yeah, well, what one is one is a fucking one is the best uh, untouchable classic, and then three is really fun. So people just kind of shit on two. Oh but, God, I don't have any rations. What am I doing? Run away! Fuck! Oh. Fuck! I forgot I didn't have rations. I would have just kept running. Ugh! Snake. Uh, Snake. See, I think the second Metal Gear Solid was so special to me because when it came out, the graphics were really nice. It's like, you know, short-term shit. Um, yeah, I, absolutely. I think It what, blew my mind. When, and, when you play a game for the first time has a lot to do with how you perceive it. Pretty works. I think that for sure. Okay. Please work, please work. Nope, doesn't work. This is supposed to happen. Okay, at least I know. Oh, I have rope. This is this is this is, this is the. Oh, room. it's my favorite Foo Fighters song, "Rope." Give me some rope. I don't know the rest of it. As I go, give me some rope. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> ah! uh, uh, Yo, what's your favorite Foo Fighters song? That one. That's that like... one where Dave Grohl really yells. <laughs> ah! I was like, <laughs> we were really um, Dave Grohl, the Foo Fighters. We were kind of ripping on the Sonic Highways. Oh my. The God. album we like, dude. The, the fucking HBO Sonic Highways. We thought, I, I mean, I thought, and I think you thought this too, right? You thought it was really good. The uh, the show? Yeah, yeah I, I thought, thought the show was fucking incredible. I thought the show was great. I thought every song was a dud. Yeah, well, we weren't too crazy about the songs or like the lyrics in particular. I I will give Dave Grohl credit for this. The nature of the show, the structure of the way he put those songs together, only served to highlight his weaknesses as as a songwriter, and I think that. The, the the move to do that I think is very ballsy and is worthy of respect as an artist so it's interesting in showing his flaws I actually have more respect for him but yeah. that being said it it, it it reinforced what I've always said about Dave Grohl outside of playing drums yeah. outside of playing drums he's a 7 out of 10 yeah. and everybody wants to paint him like he's an all time great no he's an all time great yeah. drummer yeah I got it now man it's a rhythm you gotta get the rhythm I mean yeah I was listening the Dave Grohl thing, but it's like throw grenade, run, throw grenade, run. It is like parkourish. Like, oh, oh no, no, no! I didn't even lean on the wall. But yeah, so he's outside of playing drums. He's he's a seven out of ten. He's good. He's not great. Yeah, and he's a fucking awesome drummer. Drums is a whole different conversation. He can get the job in any band ever. <clears throat> them, them crooked vultures are sick. Yeah, you know what's funny? That record didn't age well for people. Like nobody, saw, nobody really talks about that anymore. I love that album. I thought it was like a master's class in rock and roll. I thought they like touch on every style of rock and just uh, put it all in a blender uh, in a really cool way. Fucking and plus, on some real shit, John Paul Jones. I do, I could listen to him play anything, anytime. He's just so incredible. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> oh, sorry, Doctor. Doctor. Thank you, man. Uh, uh, Devoutly, thank you very much for your help, man. Or woman. Whoever, whoever you are, thank you for joining us. Hope you, hope you like the stream. <laughs> that was me clearing my throat. 
rapid fire succession. And here's where I save because fuck that noise. Yeah. Fucking